So first off, we have our two wallets here. We have home and we also have test. These are our two different wallets. I'm going to go ahead and copy the address from test. Go back to home here. And we're going to go ahead and send we're going to go ahead and send one secret to this is the publicly we're going to go ahead and send one secret to this other address. Send that. We'll see this pop up on puzzle over here in a moment. There it is. So this transaction, this address sent one secret to this other address. We're going to click on details and we're going to go ahead and view the JSON because the JSON is where the magic happen happens uh, when servers are communicating with each other, uh, when nodes are talking to each other, when contracts are executed. JSON is really the baseline uh, you know, medium of communication. Now, before we go ahead and take a look at this and break down some of this, we're going to go ahead and send some secret secret so we can draw a contrast. So we're going to go ahead and click down here. We're going to send one secret secret. This is the secret transaction. Go ahead and go to transactions. This will be distinctly different in terms of what is visible to the larger network. Blocks take about four seconds, so it should pop up right here. Here we go. This executed a contract at here. So pretty much what happens here is this publicly visible address, all we know is that it interacted with the secret secret contract. But now it's time to draw some conclusions. What is kept secret? So this is the publicly uh, visible transaction. And things to note first off is the fee. Whether you're using a secret secret uh, transaction or a not secret secret transaction, there's always a gas amount that has to be used, right? So both of these transactions have to pay a gas fee in order to be executed. But this is where things start to differ. You'll see here that the message it tells us how much was sent. We know that one secret was sent and we know where we have the to address right here. We have the from address right here. And we also have the memo. Now memos are um, publicly visible uh, in either scenario. But so the big things we're taking note of is that we know that we with the publicly visible transaction, we have the to address, the from address and the amount. Now, when we switch over to our secret secret transaction, this is where things get really interesting. Here's why. The message is completely encrypted. The only thing we know is the sender. We know the sender interacted with the transaction, but we don't know the amount and we don't know where it was sent to. How cool is that? Nowhere in this JSON is that information leaked. That is the power of secret secret. So if I was to draw up some conclusions, secret at CRT, which is the native gas token, uh, reveals the transaction sender, receiver, and amount versus secret secret, also known as SSCRT. Um, reveals only that a sender address interacted with a contract. Hopefully this gives you guys a better idea of the distinct difference between a publicly visible transaction versus secret secret. Secret network ultimately has transactional privacy. And the power of encrypted messages, being able to encrypt certain fields of JSON, is that we can begin to create contracts that leverage this fact. We can create really interesting tool with this power. Hopefully this video gave you a better idea of the difference between a publicly visible transaction versus a private transaction using Secret Secret. 
Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for more content. Happy building.